Well, hello there, everybody. Let's just fix this really quickly. Okay. Um, nice to see everybody. Um, I wanted to talk today just quickly about um, the email warming process within Apollo.io. So as many of you probably know, I moved away from using Apollo's email warming tool. Um, and I moved over to Smartly. Now, there have been a couple changes in Apollo recently that have made me move back. So we're looking at one of the customers I work with right now. And you can see here that they're on the enterprise plan. So we have 15 linked accounts, right? The reason why I moved over from Apollo for this purpose over to like a smart lead or a warm box or, you know, one of the many other warming tools was I didn't have enough capacity and space, right? To both send out all of my content via um, Apollo's sending software, but I also didn't have time or the capacity to warm up these seats. Now, what Apollo's done is they've increased their number of mailboxes that you can have for each user, right? And you can see here, I have three with this license, right? Um, <clears throat> so they kind of eliminated the issue that I was having with them, uh, which is why I wanted to do a quick video on this. So you can see here that A, my email sending volume is very low per seat. The reasoning behind that is that I'm still warming up here, right? So these seats in theory should be warmed around October 31st. Now I've um, been testing, pushing the envelope here just a little bit to see if I can send out emails, you know, prior to this full warm. Um, and it's actually gone pretty well. I think my open rate here as of right now on this seat is somewhere around like 38% on the first email. Now, the reason behind that is a couple things. A, our volume is super, super low, right? This seat right now was sitting at 24 cents per day. Um, as you can see with most of my other seats here, let me just go ahead and save that again so I don't ruin everything. Um, I'm somewhere in between 24. I have one outlier here that I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive with. Um, and the warming is still in progress for a couple of these. So you could see like the lower volumed uh, daily limits here correspond with the warmups that are still in progress. So my point here is guys, I don't think that, um, completely waiting until your full warming is done is necessary. However, I would say that I like to wait at least 10 days, right? They recommend 14, but I like to wait 10 days before I start trickling out volume. And then once we get to October 31st here, I'll up this probably to 45, 47, 48, something like that. Um, and I'll never go above that, right? This that I showed you before is a one off kind of testing that I'm doing. And you guys can see here, right? Like I have different domains for all of these, right? I have click, co, pro, zone, biz, tech, and then the dot com I actually use for zero outbound because that's like the company's main domain. So, Point here is guys, we've moved from five total seats on the enterprise to 15. We've moved from two total seats on the pro up to five. Um, so Apollo all of a sudden has kind of inserted it back in, inserted itself back into the game of email warming. Um, last thing I wanna to just touch on here is how I'm doing this for each. Now I've talked a lot on these videos about the advantage of uh, randomization. Right. So you'll see here that all of these numbers are different. So my daily warms for each are going to be anywhere from like 75 up to 200. And that's dependent on a where we're at in the warming process, B, how long the seed's been active, C, the performance of the domain, D, making sure that everything's set up on the SPF, D mark, DKIM, BME, all that good stuff. Um, if anybody would like, help with this, I'll leave my uh, personal meeting link in my uh, ba -ba -ba comments. That's correct. That's what I was trying to say, or description, I think is what I was trying to say. And I hope everybody has a good weekend. Uh, I'll be back to my normal schedule of one of these videos a day, um, as I've been getting pretty good feedback on it. And it seems like it's helpful for a bunch of you. So that's why we're here. All right. Thanks, everybody. Happy Friday.